Hello friends, you are watching data structures using C. All the videos are brought to you by Angpro Training from Angpro Technologies. So friends, in this video I am going to explain you how to delete a node from a tree. So in the previous videos we have introduced the binary tree, binary search tree and how to insert and find a node in the binary search tree and in this video I am going to show you what are the different cases when we try to delete a node from binary search tree. right? So you can delete a leaf node from the binary search tree and you can also delete a node with one child and there may be a situation uh, where you can want to delete a node with two children or two or more children. right? So first let us analyze each and every case. So now let's understand how to delete a leaf node. Say uh, there are four leaf nodes here. So I can delete any leaf node with the same technique. So if I don't want this uh, 70 here, I'll just uh, um, find the 70 first using the algorithm, find algorithm. I'll use this 70 and I'll store the address of this 70 in some node, in some temporary node and I'll free that temporary node. So this will be deleted and I'll simply store the null inside the right link of the parent node. That's it. Right, so null here. So if I want to delete this, I'll simply delete this and I'll store the null inside here. That's it. So this is simple when you want to delete uh, the leaf nodes, right? So how to delete a node with one child? Say suppose here is a, a node called 60. I want to delete 60 but uh, this has got one child node. How to delete this? So I'll use the find algorithm to find the node 60. Once I find the node 60, I'll store the address of 60 inside uh, the temporary node. So before trying to delete this node, I want to make sure that uh, this node will occupy the place of this node, right? So I'll simply store the address of this node, 6000, inside the right link of the parent of this node, right? So that is 6000 comes here. So that means this node is pointing to this node. Once this is done, I can simply delete this node, right? So this is how we can delete a node with a uh, child node. So there may be situation like, so this is a left link, right? This, uh, this is the left child. So the same is true for the right child, right? Say suppose it has the right child. So before deleting this node, I have to make sure that address of this node will be st storing in this node, right? So I can, I will store this and I will simply remove this. So this is how you can delete a node with one child. Okay. So, so imagine a situation when you want to delete a node with two children. Say I want to delete 60 but it has got two children and one of them has got a right subtree also. Right. How to delete the 60 node now? So before deleting the 60, you want to make some uh, adjustments for the left subtree, right? So once this is deleted, what about this right subtree and what about this right uh, left subtree? There should be some arrangements, right? So before deleting this, you have to make sure that you are bringing the largest node in the left subtree to the place where you are deleting the node. That means once you delete this node, you have to bring the largest node in this place that is 55. Why am I focusing on the largest node? Because once this is deleted, there should be some node which is larger of all these nodes, right? So why larger? Because all the nodes are going to be on the left side of this new node, right? So that is why I'm choosing the largest node. If I choose the 53 because 50 is lesser, that is fine. What about 55? 55 can't be on the left side of 53 right so that is why i have to choose the highest node i have to choose the largest node so once i delete this 60 i have to bring this 55 here so before bringing that i have to delete this here i have to 
insert it here right so once I delete from here I have to make the adjustment for this left separate right what I did in the previous case if I delete the tree just store the address here so this will point to this node right right so this will be adjusted now so this is how you can delete the node with two children so here is the code for deleting a node so this function delete function takes two arguments one is uh, the address of the root node and the data which is going to be deleted and this will return the address of deleted node so here is the code for deleting the node uh, this function called uh, delete this is of the type struct BST node because this is going to return the address of deleted node so to return the address of deleted node this must also be of the uh, the return type of this function must also be of the type BST node right so notice here it has got this asterisk before its name and it takes two parameters one is uh, the address of the root pointer which has got the address of the which has got the address of the root node and the data which is going to be deleted right so before deleting the node first we have to find the node right once we find the node we can easily delete that so first let's understand the code for finding a node so here I have declared a temporary variable say temp so this is a temporary variable which holds the address of a node okay if root equals to null what is root root is the pointer which is pointing to the root node right if root equals to null if it is not pointing here terminate tree is empty you can't delete a node else if data is less than root arrow info so what is data the item or the node that I'm going to delete uh, let us say in this case I have to delete 10 so data is 10 I want to delete this node is data less than root arrow info root arrow info is 40 is 10 less than 40 yes if that so uh, root arrow left equals to delete again I'm calling the same function with root arrow left that means the address stored in the left link of the root root node and the data that is 2000 right now I'm calling this function with 2000 which is the address of the left node and the data that is 10 right and I'm storing whatever it returns in root arrow left now root is pointing now this root has got 2000 in it right now it is not pointing here but it is pointing to this node right okay if root equals to null what is root root is not equal to null then check data is less than root arrow info is 10 less than root arrow info I mean 20 yes it is 10 is less than 20 then again call this function but this time root arrow left what is root arrow left root arrow left is address of this node that is 4000 now call this function again with 4000 and the data 10 right now this root is currently pointing to this node right is root equal to null no is data less than root arrow info root arrow info is 10 is 10 less than 10 no the condition fails here but root is pointing to this node else if data is more than root arrow info no data is not also more than but it is equal if it is not less than root arrow info and if it is not more than root arrow info then we have got the element so we have searched for the element now okay we have found the element now look at the code for deleting it right so this is not going to execute it now now we are if else if is over now we are in else if let us look at the code for so this is the code for deleting that node right now root is pointing to this node yes so this is the code if element found we uh, got into the else part right so this is for the node which has got both children so this is the code which has got one or no children right okay first let me check if anything is there in root arrow left and root arrow right 
no both have got null that means there are no children then come to this part else part right so store the address of root i mean what is the address of what is the content of root the address of this node the item to be deleted store that inside temp okay now temp is pointing to this node right if root arrow left equals to null yes root arrow left is null then store root arrow right inside root what is root arrow right root arrow right is null store root arrow right inside root that is now root contains null okay if root arrow right e also equals to null yes then store root arrow left inside null that means again then store root arrow left inside root that means again root is going to have null and free temp now i'm going to free temp that means this is going to be deleted right and root has got null in it 